Hey, welcome everyone. Jacob Wittenberg with Frontier Precision here to talk to you today about high accuracy GIS uh, data collection. And today we're going to talk about some receiver technology that we have available from Frontier Precision. Uh, we can help you get these solutions integrated into your existing workflows and go out and capture high accuracy data. So I'll start with the Trimble R1 GNSS receiver. So for those of you that are using applications like Survey123 or Esri Collector and want to add high accuracy, this makes it really easy. It's a small, portable, uh, sub-meter level accuracy device. It has a one-button operation to power it on. It automatically goes into Bluetooth pairing mode. And then I can pair it with a smartphone or a tablet real easy. Once it's partnered up, just in the regular settings, I can go directly into Collector or directly into Survey123, choose I want to use that receiver, select my location profile, turn on my real-time correction settings, and I'm collecting with high accuracy data. It's as easy as that. The cool thing about the Trimble R1 is that it is so small and portable. It offers a lot of flexibility for mounting. So they make a belt clip pouch that I can put in, uh, this receiver inside of, and then I can clip it really anywhere I want to. And the benefit to that is that if I'm going out and I have a tablet in hand and I'm utilizing that tablet, I can be hands-free until I need it. So once I'm to a location that I want to collect uh, a high accuracy position at, I can just take this out, pull it over a fire hydrant, utility, um, you know, maybe at a tree, whatever I'm capturing, collect the location information, clip it back away, and I'm hands-free. Makes it really slick for going out and capturing data. They also have a pull mount pouch available for it as well. This pull mount pouch, it'll slide in and that can mount it to any standard uh, two meter uh, rover rod. And then I can go out and capture information having everything all on one rod. There is an external antenna port as well. So I can actually run an external antenna, patch antenna, and uh, run that out to kind of a, have an antenna remote wherever I want it. So they have a couple different lengths, I wanna say, you know, a couple meters. And the beauty is if you're working inside of a vehicle and you want this inside but have the antenna outside, the patch antenna is magnetic so I can just run it out the door jam or out the window, stick it right to the top of the roof, and I have high accuracy data You know, as I'm capturing lines as I'm driving, maybe I'm driving through a field or something like that. Works great for ATVs and UTVs as well in those applications. So yeah, the next one is the Juniper Geode. This is a small portable sub-meter uh, receiver from a company called Juniper Systems. And a little bit different in orientation, right? In comparison, here's a size comparison between the R1 and the geode. So interestingly, the antenna on the R1 is actually on the top of it. Sorry, got some background noise coming through. Uh, the geode, the antenna is actually this larger antenna plane up here. So it actually sits in this orientation. Capturing with the R1, you would want it sitting in this orientation. One of the best features about the R1 that I really like is actually it has a mount here for a quarter 20 uh, camera tripod mount so you can mount it to any camera tripod type uh, mount available. So that opens the door for mounts for GoPros and things like that as well as mounts for things like this uh, camera monopod. So this camera monopod, getting there, uh, actually adds a lot of flexibility and ease for the receiver for use. I can just, uh, if I'm hiking uh, through trees or anywhere else, I can just throw it on this camera monopod and away I go. I'm actually collecting points. I can ensure I'm over whatever I'm trying to collect. They do make brackets, just like for this pole, for something like this, and I can have my tablet or my smartphone mounted right on there as well. Nice thing is, is that if I have one of these and I want to use it in a backpack configuration, I can actually just put this right in the backpack and away I go, I'm collecting data and information uh, using my own backpack with this system. Uh, creates a lot of flexibility. This does have an external antenna port as well. Uh, both this and the R1 do charge through a uh, micro USB. So really flexible, really portable, really easy to use. receiver I'll talk about today is the Trimble R2 GNSS receiver. This is available in three different options, uh, sub-meter, sub-foot, and centimeter level capability. So for most people, for sub-meter applications, they're going to really like the flexibility of the R1, just for size specifically. 
However, the R2 does have some benefits. One of those benefits is that it does have a swappable battery. So if you're working remote, you can bring a few different batteries with you um, to ensure that you have power for your whole project. This can be mounted to the roof of a vehicle um, using a mag mount, it has a standard 5 8 inch threading. And most people are gonna use it on a pole, similar to this setup here. The beauty to a pole setup is that I can mount my smartphone or my tablet to that and then I'm just walking around with that pole, everything mounted to it, capturing data and information. One thing that I'll add is that if you are using a pole like this and you're using a high accuracy uh, Trimble R2, say like the RTK receiver and getting real-time corrections, you can actually measure not just horizontal um, information, but you can also measure vertical information as well. So if you wanna know elevation data, we can actually capture orthometric heights from the field, bring that back into our GIS using Esri Collector, and we can actually measure elevation and get that data into our GIS. Uh, so having a pull mount is gonna really benefit that because then you have a standard height uh, that you can subtract from because uh, the antenna will be mounted at the top of it. So these uh, solutions are all gonna partner with your standard Android, iOS, and Windows uh, devices. All three of them are compatible with all three operating systems. So no matter which operating system you're using, you're gonna be set to go. Uh, I do know that Esri Collector, the new version, is available on iOS as well as Android today. Uh, it is still on the classic mode for Windows 10 specifically. However, we do have a couple of ruggedized, uh, field-ready solutions for you from Juniper Systems. I just wanted to showcase these today because they are great uh, devices. This is the uh, Juniper uh, CT8 tablet. It's an Android tablet. Uh, some of the benefits to it is it does have a forward and uh, backwards facing camera. So if you are taking photos of assets, you do have that available. It is small, it is pretty sleek, but the beauty is it is fully ruggedized, so it can take some beating. Um, not saying to throw it around, but you can. Um, it is rubberized on the outside and everything too. So you don't have to have an environmental case or a rugged case on it. It's rugged, ready to go. Uh, it does have an all-day battery. One of the benefits of that all-day battery is if I'm Bluetoothing to one of these receivers, that can be kind of a battery uh, killer. Also, if you're taking a lot of photos, sending them those back to your GIS or back to ArcGIS online, it's gonna have power to do that all day. The other thing that it's gonna have power for is for the sunlight readable display. This display becomes very bright. It's hard to showcase in the sun out here, but on, on video, um, but it is a very bright display that uh, you're gonna be able to see all day. They also have a smaller unit as well, more of a smartphone size uh, tablet. So, if you're looking to get started with this technology, right, capturing high accuracy GIS data, or even if just you're just capturing uh, low accuracy data for now and wanna integrate to this later, we can help you. We can help you from the start with planning your uh, GIS integration or implementation. If you're just starting to use ArcGIS Online, we can help you get up and going with that. Using Collector, Survey123, whatever it might be, we have jump starts available that we can help you get going from day one and be successful throughout your uh, field operations. So if you wanna know more about our technology, stop by our booth. Uh, we're at booth 169, or just uh, search for Frontier Precision in the expo and uh, stop by and say hi. I'd love to chat with you. Thanks.